there are a lot of things that can derail the efforts of an Olympic hopeful. We got the games they are over a month away now, so they're coming up quickly. Many athletes are getting ready for their trials. They do those in Eugene for track and field, uh, trying to get a spot on Team USA. It's a very tense time, but there is one runner who it looks like is not going to be joining the team in Tokyo, all because she says of a burrito that she ate from a food cart in Beaverton. Now, I've had some negative burrito incidents before, but but nothing like this. Shelby Houlihan is an Olympic runner who trains with Nike's Bowerman Track Club. She went to the Olympics in 2016, so she is good. She holds American records for middle distance running, but now she is banned from the sport for the next four years. See, back in December, she tested positive for this chemical called nandrolone. It is an anabolic steroid of testosterone, so you know it increases muscle mass, and it's banned in sports because of that. But Houlihan says she wasn't doping. She was snacking and that a pork burrito triggered a false positive. In the following five days after being notified, I put together a food log of everything that I consumed the week of that December 15 test. We concluded that the most likely explanation was a burrito purchased and consumed approximately 10 hours before that drug test from an authentic Mexican food truck that happens to serve pig offal near my house in Beaverton, Oregon. Okay, so for the record, I've never heard of anything like this. I eat a ton of burritos, and in my experience, they've kind of had the opposite effect of anabolic steroids, like the exact opposite. But it turns out there have been studies that have looked into this very thing. One study from 2002 actually concluded that the consumption of pork meat, specifically the liver of uncastrated males, can trigger a positive test for nandrolone. Another study from 2015 found the same thing, they actually warned about false positives for Olympic athletes. The World Anti-Doping anti Agency actually issued a statement in 2011 urging athletes to use caution when consuming meat, especially when they're in Mexico and some other countries. Holahan says she is not a cheater, that she's never even heard of nandrolone before, and that she tried her best to prove that. I did everything I could to prove my innocence. I passed a polygraph test. I had my hair sampled by one of the world's foremost toxicologists. What I agreed that test proved that there was no buildup of this substance in my body, which there would have been if I had had been taking it regularly. Nothing. You see, she's devastated. I mean, she looks so upset in that. You know, as for Holahan, she she has to sit out of the Tokyo Olympics, and it's a four-year ban, right? So if it's upheld, you know, the Olympics were postponed a year. So it actually disqualifies her or would disqualify her to compete in the 2024 games too. So that would make her 35 years old before she can compete in the Olympics again. Devastating. In the meantime, I'm also learning that my carnitas burrito could contain the livers of uncastrated male pigs. It's not, not necessarily a deal breaker.